Hey all here at OS Reviews. Over the past few months, we've checked out a number of cool mood lights, some of them taking advantage of mirrors to create this infinite tunnel effect. And one of the more beautiful versions we've seen has been the Cube Infinity Table Lamp, which has these dazzling colors that are reflected because of the treatment on the glass or plastic. And it's just so beautiful to see a very mysterious looking object. Well, today we're taking a look at yet another variant that is using a similar concept of mirrors, except this one is in the shape of a dodecahedron, which is a polygon with 12 shapes. So once again, there are different versions of this type of lamp floating around. This one is called the Trance, one of the more compact mini variants that sells for around 80 bucks. It is RGB, so it changes colors, and you can use a remote control to go through all the different effects. It measures 7.5 inches in terms of the width and 6.3 inches in terms of height. The inspiration likely came from the Deep Light 12, which is another dodecahedron LED infinity light, but this one is much larger. In fact, it's almost like a small chair in terms of the size, and because of the more dense array of LEDs and the fact that it was the original, it's much more expensive, selling for a few thousand dollars. Almost like a museum or art piece. The box that it comes in says, before use, make sure you remove the protective films. So on the inside, we have, of course, the light itself, a quick user guide, along with the remote control that is using a cell-based battery. Uh, that will allow you to change between the colors and transition effects of the LED strip that's been glued in. And we also have, very interestingly, a detachable cable which connects onto the light and the other source is just the regular 502 amp USB. So this can be powered via a laptop, a power bank, any source with a standard USB socket. All right, and this is the actual light itself, which is indeed really shiny, even though we still have the protective wraps there. So the bottom here is completely flat, but you can see inside of it from all directions and angles. Uh, the cable there for power is just connecting outwards, and so you have to link that up to the included adapter. And here it is next to an average six inch smartphone, so you can see that it's not taking up too much space. In fact, it's comparable in size to many of the six inch moon lamps. Let's we'll start peeling back the protective films, which as you can see there, it just leaves it with a super shiny, truly mirror-like finish once we pop it out. Uh, so it only becomes apparent with the lights once you turn it on because when it's off it is pretty hard to make out what's going on because it is so shiny though you definitely want to try not to touch it as much as you can with your hands because that's going to leave fingerprints and you have to clean it off it has a good density to it as well it doesn't feel too cheap everything is fit together quite well again just glass and then the seams though do seem like it's being fit by plastic leaving us now with the completed dodecahedron fully revealed. And now the only thing left to do is just plugging it in. There is no dedicated uh, on-off key, so when you first just pop it into the USB adapter, it will instantly turn on. And almost immediately, you can tell that this is a very dazzling light array. So the RGB colors on here are flashing, and they are RGBIC, so they will change different colors continuously. Not everything will be one color at a time, just making the entire thing really just come to life. I can start to zoom in and you start to make out kind of how magical looking this is. As you kind of stare into the abyss, it looks like there's just infinite depth. The colors here are also starting to change by themselves and it goes through these vivid patterns right now, which haven't repeated yet, it just makes it look even more interesting. So there's a bit of programming going on, which is much appreciated. I think this one here that's sparkly is one of my favorites I've seen yet. And it just really does look very attractive, I have to say, especially in darker spaces. It's not necessarily bright enough to be used as a desk lamp if you're doing serious work, but as a reading lamp, if you have it at a static color, it can be all right. But I would say more as a mood light, ambient light. By looking at it from different angles, you always find new ways of uh, patterns that you didn't see before, which is great. And you can see that it does cast kind of a warm reflection on the tabletop and also wall as well. It just lights up everything with this very gentle color, which is quite dazzling. Maybe the only thing which I think possibly they could improve on would be that cable connection. Right now it looks a little bit hacky in terms of you can literally tell those wires sticking out. If in a way they can make it a little more discreet, I think it would be almost perfect. But in fact, again, everything is just so vivid and beautiful to see. I am quite impressed with the illusions that I'm seeing so far. It really is like a portal to a different dimension that you can just stare infinitely into and continue to be kind of amazed and almost mesmerized uh, by these changing patterns. Out of these infinity lights I've seen so far, I think the cube has a slightly more gentle light out of the bunch, but this might be one of my favorites, I have to admit, just because of the complexity of the pattern 
makes it look even more interesting. From different directions, there's always kind of new things that you can observe and see. And here's a view looking downwards into the light, as you can see there. Here is the red color light, so you can see it's pretty responsive as long as you're pointing at the light, changing it to just one static color, green. Here is the blue, yellow, cyan, and pink. So you have all of those six kind of presets along with white color that you can also change it into working well enough. I can also change the brightness of the LEDs as well. So right now this is the maximum brightness, but I can also make it dimmer and dimmer. Tap on the mode selection key there, and it will start to kind of change by itself into those different effects. So this one here is a breathing pattern, as you can see there, that will go slowly into the different colors one at a time. I can continue cycling through, and it will go into a more abrupt flashing pattern. Once more again into that aforementioned rainbow colored effect that we saw there at the beginning remains as one of my favorites. And in ones like these, where you can see it changing, you can also alter the speed to make it faster in terms of the light array, as you can see there. So now it's gonna go very quickly in terms of all of the cycles and just looks even more dazzling, especially all the reflections that it's casting on the wall there, just super gentle and beautiful. And you can slow it down until eventually it will pause at a single frame. Uh, you can see single LEDs there bleeding. So we can go again into some of the other effects, just changing more subtle colors, still flowing along and strobing in these just crazy ways that even the camera is really not doing it justice. It really is just so interesting and just alluring in person. So overall, I think they've done a great job in terms of the LED patterns on here compared to the other Infinity Mirror light that we just saw at the start of the video, which only has that one white light, you can't change the colors nor the animations. Because of this, this light, I have to say, really just comes alive. And just as reference, here it is next to the aforementioned tunnel infinity light that we just saw there towards the beginning of our video. So that is more or less it as far as our quick hands-on review of this dodecahedron mirror infinity trance lamp. Really is just wildly fun to play around with, and like I said, probably one of my favorite mood lights that I've reviewed yet. So you can find out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.